as your dad, I've seen you be sick, <laughs> wet yourself, fall off your bicycle, argue with your sisters, cry yourself to sleep. And that was just one birthday. <laughs> but you've also given us a lot of very good and proud moments. Some of the happiest moments we've ever had have been family get-togethers like Christmas, Easter, birthdays, anniversaries. Stew's become a very important part of that. Long may they continue. And I must compliment you on your dress. It really is beautiful. But Hannah has always dressed to kill. And unfortunately for Stu, she also cooks that way. <laughs> With all my heart, Hannah and Stuart, I wish you every happiness in the future. I hope that your love lasts forever. I call upon these persons here present. These persons here present. To witness that I, Carlton Stuart Cornforth. To witness that I, Carlton Stuart Cornforth. Do take thee, Hannah Rachel Jenkins. Do take thee, Hannah Rachel Jenkins. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. I promise to love you tenderly. I promise to love you tenderly. To comfort you with my gentleness. To comfort you with my gentleness. And support you with my strength. And support you with my strength. I promise to walk with you in sorrow and joy. I promise to walk with you in sorrow and joy. Illness and age. Illness and age. Facing life together. Facing life together. Wherever it may take us. Wherever it may take us. I promise to be loving, faithful and loyal. I promise to be loving, faithful and loyal from this day, from this day forward. First thing, ladies and gents, can I just say how beautiful my wife looks today. Yeah. Our first proper date was planned for Sunday the 18th of August 2018 at 2pm. Stuart announced that he had a date and was meeting Hannah for the first time. Now this came as a bit of a surprise to me because one, he hadn't mentioned it previously, two, he looked dreadful, and three, he smelt of twiglets that he'd been nervously <laughs> munching on. I looked at him, slapped him, and pointed him in the direction of the shower so that he could get prepared. After several bacon sandwiches and a litre of strong coffee, he left. Now he must have worked his stewy magic because things appear to have gone okay at that first meeting. So yes, he may have been a few minutes late, but my timely intervention uh, in the morning meant he looked kind of okay and he smelled decidedly better than he did. My work was complete. So on a beautiful sunny afternoon at 2.05, now Hannah says it was 2.15, I was late and I was lucky she was still there. Hannah already had a gin and tonic. I grabbed a Coke and we sat down outside. The next three hours flew by. I give you this ring. As a 
symbol of my endless love for you. As a symbol of my endless love for you. All that I am. All that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I bring to you. I bring to you. May this ring remind us of this moment. May this ring remind us of this moment. And the commitment I have made to you. And the commitment I have made for you. Would you like to place that ring on your finger? Stuart, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my endless love for you. As a symbol of my endless love for you. All that I am. All that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I bring to you. I bring to you. May this ring remind us of this moment. May this ring remind us of this moment. And the commitment I have made to you. And the commitment I have made to you. The love is unconditional and she is a beautiful woman. There is only one thing wrong with her. She forgets what she's worth. It is my promise in front of you all that every day it is my life's mission to make you realise your true beauty, your true worth and shower you with unconditional love. You're my best friend, my soulmate and I couldn't ask for more. Ladies and gentlemen, would you all please stand and raise your glasses to my beautiful wife, to Hannah Rachel Jenkins. As you'll have guessed, Stuart is very much a people person and he fits in with a crowd even though he's meeting them for the first time. Camaraderie and banter are his thing and I always remember the look on Stu's face grinning despite being under a pile of bodies when the trip to the Middlesex Sevens ended with an impromptu game of rugby with a group of lads, many of whom Stu had never met before, in the car park at Twickers against several members of the London Nigeria rugby team. Anna and Stuart, you found a good man. Strong, resourceful, caring, funny, a lousy shop mind. It's probably not a bad thing, you can't be perfect. And somebody who is incredibly popular. Stuart, in Hannah you found a partner who's also driven, determined, entrepreneurial, with caring, warmth and guidance thrown in. And Dan and I wish you all the happiness in the world. I know you'll have many good times ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please join me in a toast? To Hannah and Stuart. <laughs>